We made a bop it game. Uh, the basic functions are uh, bop it, spin it, and then up here there's a photoresistor that is cover it. Everything works except for at the moment this the spin it does not create enough voltage. The motor we changed the last minute is not actually large enough to create a readable voltage source, which is why we have this button on the outside just to demonstrate. It does the same thing. It just supplies a pulse to the pick instead of this. So the function of the game is that it randomly chooses one of those three functions for you and you have a time limit to complete the function before you lose. Uh, then it counts the number of rounds that you complete and once you do fail then it displays that number and insults you. Uh, so the bop it is just a button. The spin it is a DC motor that we're powering. When you spin it it creates a voltage pulse that's read by the picks. Uh, and then like I said the photoresistor up here is on a, a voltage divider and when you cover it, it changes the resistance and the pick reads that voltage change as well. It's got the LCD that displays a prompt for each function as well as the LED underneath it. So the yellow one for the spin it, green for the bop it, and there's a blue one up here for the cover. At the moment, we have two different difficulty levels set up. One is really long for an easy demonstration and one is a little bit shorter for a little bit more realistic demonstration. So it shows a welcome screen in the beginning, then you go through to select difficulty, I'll select the really slow one for now. Yeah. So there's the cover. It opens the cover on top. And once you lose, then it. Uh, so then, if I start again, go to the harder mode. Then it goes a little bit faster. And we have that much time to complete each command. And that's it.